Oh my, oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah, how are you? The, the how are you? Yeah, oh my yeah. God. How oh my are God! You? you work with Brian Barnes? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh. That is me. Oh, yeah. How so are you? You, you want so a so picture or something? Here's a post for a picture. Oh He's a professional. He has actually his degrees in biology, and he can actually talk the talk. Where I sit there and listen. So that's pretty. Yeah, cool. yeah. That's oh, exactly how it goes. And there's this camera guy. He's my doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> Tough right there. Just that little bit of grab, just like, oh, There's man. a, that's we Instagram. That's what it's all about, man. Massage. Taking care of each other. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Hi. Nice. <laughs> Uh, superstar coming through. Excuse me, superstar coming through. What? Am I embarrassing you? What's up? Oh, how you doing? Who's that guy? This is Poppy, bro. I don't know who Poppy is. What's up? Hi, Poppy. He's my Poppy. <laughs> Go get your own. <laughs> how y'all doing over there? Good? Yeah, I know. Dave Coffin come through. I'm sure. Yo. <laughs> what? You think you'd be mad? He wouldn't be mad. He seems very jolly. He does seem like a pretty jolly guy. Is he married? I'm gonna ask him. I feel like these are the questions people want to know. Okay, wait, we need to film this guy. This guy's important. This table's super boring, though. This is, yeah, but this is fucking <laughs> Phil Goss. This is the president of USR. Hi, how are you this doing? This is an empty booth. Yep, yeah. that's a cool booth, this, man. All he needs is himself. I did it myself. Yeah. I have this highlighter. Zero creativity, dude. I have this Sharpie. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're actually... You'd be amazed what I can do with a highlighter and a Sharpie. Well, still looks pretty Why can't the other vendors have a sense of humor? How, how was last night? Last night, good. Last night was nuts. We don't have a total yet, but just not counting any auction, we did $90,000. USR, if you don't already fucking follow them <coughs> or uh, subscribe. Sunday morning, why are you cussing? Yep. You're supposed to get out of your system last night. No, Did no, you no, just use profanity? All the way through. Oh, it's, all right. I forgot. I forgot where I'm at. We're edgy on nerd. We can swear. That's right. You're fine. Right. We fucking do it. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. For the fucking videos. What? That's how we fucking roll. That was three f bombs. I got to bleep out. It was. That was it's rad. Okay. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> cool. Nice meeting you, sir. So we're going, we're going to hang with Brian Cusco. He wants to interview Kevin and uh, talk about Mini Moo and some of the other things that we're doing at Nerd. What's a mini and what are you gonna, what are you gonna ask Brian? Because Brian, gonna ask Brian no, Brian's, Brian's gonna ask okay. Kevin. Finn. That doesn't make sense. I'm a baby YouTuber. Yeah. You're a baby YouTuber. This is it. This is this is the thing. What's so good about this? Tell me. Everything about it. This is years and years of engineering. And so Lindy has a new injection mold. This is a giant, giant, giant mold that he has these made. Yeah. So the normal um, drawer used to be ABS plastic, and the ABS plastic over time becomes very brittle and cracks. This is, Lindy, this is ridiculous. These so nice. These aren't cheap, right? These are not cheap, but they're, I mean, th this is it. This is, this is the stuff you want. Yeah. Except I violated the protocol of Oh, Kevin's breaking all their stuff. <laughs> yeah, just leave it up. That's cool. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Kevin, you just pull a knife out? <laughs> is, this, is this a protection? So they don't... <laughs> what is it? Tell me what it is. What is this? So this is the back bar for watering <gasps> of a rat drawer. So they don't so bite they them? Don't, yeah. We, all the ah. different problems we've had over the years have changed. Now this is stainless steel, much thicker drawer. Uh, they got knob plates in the back, which is, this is a big deal. And they're nice and smooth. You so, would just say the majority of our problems are because we don't have uh, like this kind of stuff? I, yeah, you got to have, Kevin some, makes his own stuff. have some really good loot. But these are so nice. Even the drawers, slides are nicer. This is good though. But Freedom Breeder is... It's the best? The, yeah. Uh, Clearly. Wow, that's pretty nice of you to say. That's Jesse. So Hi, Jesse. I'm Donnie. Oh, that you Kevin's camera guy. That's pretty funny. Hey, Brian Cusco. Hell yeah, dude. I take this shit seriously. I'm like you. Me, 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 <laughs> What's that thing that I was riding? That 
Oh, the one wheel? Oh, the one, the one wheel. wheel. Oh, this guy killed it on the one wheel. I, I already fell down. Well, he almost killed himself. First, I didn't fall there. down. I did you didn't fall, fall down once? He fell, he fell off, but gracefully. Yes. yes. He's pretty good for his age, I feel like. The fear of... I was getting, I was getting it. You don't, you like already earned a privacy. certain level of respect in my mind based on all the media you put out and the information I've gathered from you through video and books. But however, when you jumped on that one wheel, you went up another notch. And oh. you dedicated yourself to making it like a few different like tries and like, okay, third time's the charm. Yeah. You know like, what it was? Right. It's usually it's the other people watching me because as soon as I did, they're all doing this. And I'm like, that's not fair. <laughs> that I got a whole like, other level. Of I'm like, I, as soon, that's what actually turned me off. I, I looked down and I looked up and there was literally oh, three people doing oh, this yeah. to oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> Tough right there. I'm, I'm glad you, just that little bit of grab, just like, oh. There's man, a, that's Instagram. That's what it's all about, man. Massage. Taking care of each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he's going to interview me about, I don't know what. Yeah. We're just going to roll with it. Whatever comes out, comes out. And, Post it publicly and we'll all look much worse for it. Cool. But everybody will be very entertained. It's good open. It'll be. It's like a podcast Kevin's never done. <laughs> no, he needs to do podcast. This is ridiculous. No, I agree. I agree. I mean, I'll you never listen to it. Now? You're my holder. You okay, so do I. Should we go get okay. your guitar so you don't freak out while sitting here not doing anything? No, he'll get that much more distracted. Can you bring him like a fidget spinner or something, Brian? Because he's going to go nuts. I like the idea of the guitar. That's pretty cool. You didn't. You brought it home, didn't you? <laughs> no, it's there. There's a guitar under the table. Why did I bring this, Jeremy? Hmm? Why did I bring that? Kevin needs to get uh, energy released somehow because we're making him sit still. And he doesn't have a fidget spinner. He doesn't have a fidget spinner. He has a retic and a guitar. Okay. <laughs> how do you do? How do you give his attention? Just wait for him to start like tapping his fingers a lot. <laughs> Starts looking around for a way to escape. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is more like an ADHD thing Kevin does, so he doesn't freak out with all these people here. So Kevin doesn't murder the staff and the customers. Who are you yes. most disappointed with here that works for you? Me um, for coming late? <laughs> oh. Um, well, I have people that eat pizza, eat. and then they all get diarrhea because they eat meat. What is and So they're, they're, I'm very disappointed in all my carnivorous employees with gastrointestinal problems. Okay. What? Do you want to say who it was? Was it Nicole? My sweaty daughter <laughs> did not... I'm not going to say what... The, dough, the, the consumption of alcoholic substances so you have a better amusement time because you're acting irresponsible as a proper cameraman. Have I ever embarrassed you? Come on. Maybe in the videos. <laughs> Kevin's supposed to be working. Dude, do you want to talk, talk about your friend here? My friend? Yeah, like, what the hell? Who's my this guy? My car's hero right here. That's supposed to be helping me sell ball pythons. Yeah. But that he's too scared. He said, dude, sell all my snakes. Make you all my money. Yeah. That's like why that. we love him. Jesus. You He's going to call us some Siamese crocodiles, some Cuban crocs. Yeah. A couple of different cool species that came in that we don't work with at New England Reptile. And who's this guy? Uh, this is Stephen Cook, correct? Right? Yep. Yeah? And what do you, so, so your specialty is this stuff? A little bit of everything, but uh, yeah, I love these crocodilians, man. I uh, work with uh, 10 species of crocodilians. This right here is a Cuban crocodile. Yeah. About a two year old. The scumbag that stole the belly cup off of Gateway Civil Reptiles. They have you on video. We took it, no questions asked. Right now, the are being looked for. How you doing? Two year old Cuban crocodile. Uh, definitely the most athletic crocodilian species. Very long legs, uh, super adapted to land. They can run faster than any crocodilian. Uh, they can jump clear off the ground as an adult. Uh, definitely like the most intimidating crocodilian. You know, they're, they're looking at you. They, they know that they have the upper hand no matter what, uh, water or land. But also one of the most beautiful, keeping the uh, amazing yellow coloration into adulthood. Really spectacular animals is a broad snout caiman, caiman laterostris. Uh, another one of the smallest crocodilian species in the world. Uh, these kind of these are like the little uh, bulldogs of the croc world. Uh, you actually kind of hear it uh, doing that little call right there. It's yeah. kind of the call for mom when it feels a little stressed out. How long do they maintain that call for? You know, that's a good question. This thing is about you know, two years old, and it's, it's still making that. <laughs> yeah, what's up? You guys are on YouTube. <laughs> they ruined the shot. It's all right. How dare you? How dare you sell our rodents? <laughs> Jerks. Adapt and overcome. This is a Siamese crocodile, Crocodilus siamensis. 
This is kind of one of the uh, the better stories of captive reproduction of a crocodilian species. So these guys are critically endangered. But here is one of, if not my favorite, crocodilian we have. This is a uh, Pierre Yakari caiman, uh, similar age to the rest of them, about two, two and a half years old. This one's really been putting on some great size. And uh, like I was talking about with the broad snouts, this is the species that was most notoriously hurt by uh, captive hybridizing. These were crossed with the spectacle caimans to produce the quote-unquote diamond caiman, um, which then became popularized as like a, a pet trade crocodilian. Um, these guys had fine wild populations, fine captive populations, until legislation hit where the, the pure yukares couldn't be crossed over state lines. And then, you know, for commercial reasons, hybridized, and then everything kind of hit the fan and these guys started declining. Um, so we're lucky to have pure adults to produce these babies. Now, because we're both Python people, I have to ask you, you can pick up six, seven, I don't know how many genes and snakes you do, but how do you, like, is it just years of working with the animals? No, I'm a good liar. That's, that's all there is to it. I still, I fooled everybody on the Odin thing. <laughs> they actually think it's real. No. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Don't say that on camera. <laughs> no, no, no. It, oh, it's real. No, it's, it's going real. on the YouTube it's channel. Real. It's, it's real. real. It's real. It's real. So. The one gene that's really screwing me up is the ODM gene. Okay. I don't Where'd you get your understand from. Okay. It, it just does Should I get my what? really weird stuff. And what's interesting is it's always something new. Yeah. So I'll hatch out a clutch. And tell me it's almost always that one snake. They're just like, why do you look like that? So yeah. I really like that a lot. Um, I really do. Sadly, I like the spider gene over a lot. Yeah. Uh, I there you love go. the spider yeah. gene. Yeah. And, and I got out the spider gene. Because I like you. to hold my ball pythons upside down and just watch yeah. them. <laughs> and then, yeah, the beautiful soft music. Yeah, and of I start to get high. No, I like the spider gene a lot yeah. because it's it's a very dramatic. Uh, if you're a morphologist, yes. yes. you, you want something that can um, allow you a lot of power to manipulate the look. You know, the paint job, the patterning of that animal. Spider is one of those good ones. I certainly like things like Enchi. Enchi is yeah. a really important yes. one. Uh, pastel is critical. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's just so many there's good genes. There's a really lot of good genes. I mean, I could go off, but the Odium is that one that just, I could take a combo that maybe I would consider, okay, this is, this is okay. And that's about it. If I throw an Odium on there yeah. with another gene, all of a sudden it could just be a whole new mess. Yeah, yeah. And you fan of these guys? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? What's so good about them? Justin's tall. That's always good. Hey, you're tall. What's up? That's quite a rig. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're going to look really great on YouTube. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. He already does. Well, I mean, you're going to look better. <laughs> yeah. A lot of ugly people in this industry. You're killing it, man. Uh, okay. So, what's going on, man? He's a fan of yours. Oh, likewise. I like the videos. Like, yeah? Like, you took something that wasn't happening, like showed what was happening over at like, Nerd. Was, no one knew. Or no one knew what was going him. on. That was him? That was him. Oh, that was you. That was what am I doing? Me over the last like four months. What are we talking about? <laughs> but like, we told you YouTube? Kevin and not put shitty videos up. Oh, yeah, that was all me. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was making me upset with his videos. I yeah. think it was two years of cell phone videos. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Why don't, can I just seriously ask, why didn't nobody tell him? Because nobody wants to piss him off. The comments were never like, hey, what's up with the quality of the videos? Never. Well, you know, you always assume that people are doing the best they can, and telling them they're doing a crappy job doesn't help. It just makes them crappy, you know? I love that you just said that, bro. So what's the sickest thing you brought to the show? Yes. That's, I know that's hard. Did you sell it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I never sell the best stuff. Oh. I work so hard, why would I just get rid of it like that? Like, like it's nothing. No matter how much money. This thing is is probably the fan favorite. <laughs> it's a simple combo, it's, but incredible. Absolutely incredible. Do you like do you like Kevin? Are you guys like enemies or are you guys friends? No, we're, we're definitely enemies. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I have no problem with I, I, I live I believe in live and let live, man. I, I don't really dislike people. Yeah. They all they're, they're the way they are, man. You gotta appreciate them. That's what we say every day. Kevin's way is we can't change him. Yeah. Yeah. All people that accept me, so I got to accept them too. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, who's this guy? Who's this triply dressed guy? This is Clint. Clint who? Clint. 
Clint's Reptiles. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna, I was going to say Clint's Reptiles, but I was going <laughs> to actually talk about he's actually he's a professional. He has actually his degrees in biology, and he can actually talk the talk where I sit there and listen. So that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, no, that's exactly how it goes. <laughs> and then there's this camera guy. He's my doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get out of the frame. I've looked up Kevin for decades. Like ever since I, I first discovered nerd and, and what they do. I tend to stand on a chair over him and I look down at him and he looks up. Yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate that. But for real, for real. What, what you guys do is incredible. And you. it's been an honor getting to see you. I've really, I've been looking forward to that. That's one of the biggest reasons I wanted to come out. It's, thank you. It's been, it's been fun it. chatting with you because yeah, you. you know so much about so many rad things. I know a lot about nonsense. Let's yeah, talk about well, jumping spiders now. That's, yeah, but you don't look like feel. you don't look how the intelligence you have. You don't look like you have it. So it's very surprising to you sometimes. That's right. Rock look on, like man. What are you saying? It doesn't look like I look. He's stupid. in a metal band. I, I mean, who would expect I look that? Stupid. I'll, get, right. I'll get you time. I don't fix it. Clint looks like a genius. Yeah. See, but I, I, I have to dress up to, to give off that impression. Oh, dude, it's too well. Yeah. Did you know but Clint loves Caymans? Like, yeah. loves Caymans. He loves what you do with the Caymans. He was talking about this. Yeah. He wants to see Cayman. And, I do. Yep. And, and you can see my big giant monsters, which I, I have actually raised. I just, they're like 20 something years old. So I raised them from the base. Oh, well, and, horse. and uh did my uh, gibberish with them when they were little babies. Because most, most Caymans are like savages. And like, I'm going to bite you. And they have. Those teeth that, that back it all. So. Oh, yeah. No, it, it was the first time I saw you holding your big Kubio Dwarf Caiman. And they're just mellow as can be, no bands or anything, just hanging out. And I'm like, yeah, they've never had their mouth taped ever. This is a special place. Clint, what did you think? Can I ask you? You know that video where that, that guy with the poofy hair over there got bit by a retic? Oh. It's going viral right now for us. It's doing very well. But Kevin's not crazy about that video because it does paint retics in a kind of a weird light. Did you watch that one? I did watch that one. <laughs> you know, it, I'm actually curious. The thumbnail is obviously clickbait. Right. Because it's our only clickbait I think we've ever done. What happens in the video is not very extreme. Thumbnail is a near-death experience, right? <laughs> But I appreciate that because I, I, you know, to this day we've never had a, a, a video go viral like that video is going for you, and I know that changes everything. So like, if you're gonna get your message out there, somehow you've got to become well known, and that seems to be the only way to do it. And so I, I hate it. I hate doing that kind of thing. But it, it might be a necessary evil. Mm -hmm. Well, I. There's a lot to be said about this if you want to get like literally down to it. So if we do have um, conscientious messages where we're trying to do education, so I like to be kind of cutting edge because I that's like the way I kind of am in normal life. But I have to kind of like simplify it to be digestible. So I have to just kind of like paint it reasonable. But I like to goof around and stuff. But I also want to throw in all the inner. Uh, Ed education and entertainment to kind of like balance it out. So even that snake bite video, let's be realistic. These guys can bite. We're keeping big giant predators in boxes. So I have to look, what are the things that were bad about it? What are the things that are good about that? And I saw a lot in that video. And then I could do the secondary video. So it wasn't just like, dumb guy gets bit by big snake, wow. And I'm sure to the average person who doesn't know anything about snakes, maybe that's the only thing that brings them. So if I can bring them in there and then kind of talk about some other stuff and educate them and stuff like that. <laughs> let's face it, you have to get viewers to your channel so they, they are looking at your messages. And if we have these boring messages, this is how you keep all pythons. This is how you keep a chameleon. After a while, you're lost in an ocean of people. I think it goes. I think, I think it's one of the really cool things about the YouTube reptile community that we're building is just that there are, we've all got different expertise, right? Like sure. I know my expertise isn't in every detail of, of the care of every animal. I try to keep it at the level that I do know I can put out quality information because I haven't kept thousands of all of these animals. I don't know as much as you do about those things, but I do know a lot of cool biology stuff. And so I can give you, I can give you a feel as a sort of normal person, like this is what you're getting yourself into. And if you want more detail, Ask Kevin, right? And then, and then, you know, and then, you know, there's things like genetics and, and biology that I, I am trained to, yeah. to know at a higher level than most. Like, 
they can come over here and you know it's not a zero-sum game we all bring something to an informed public that is going to strengthen the reptile community it's going to bring the joy of keeping reptiles to so many more people and it's going to help them avoid those mistakes that we've all made because we can teach them and they can learn from our mistakes instead of making their own. So one of the things besides obviously for, for my business and and everything as far as social media platform, which is nice for your business, but I'm always forever, when I do my education stuff, I have like really one objective and it is to get some good information to other keepers, get people to see things a little bit differently so they're better at it because the bigger we make our industry, I, I'm very uh, geared into laws and all the You do so much, but people don't realize this about Kevin. Like, like the legislation. Reason, the reason this stuff is legal is because of the work of Kevin and those around him. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's so key because I'm very sensitive when they start trying to bring in new laws and I feel like the laws are unjust and unfair and I get very, very reactive. So it kind of has to cause me to settle myself and go, okay, I have to be a little bit more aware of how I'm being perceived, if, especially if I'm going to be used as one of the assets for U.S. ARC or whatever, when we're going to go fight laws. You can't have me, you know, going to being this totally ridiculous person without any some kind of cred. So I try to stay in the cred area, but we have to expand our industry. We have to expand our base. We have to be intelligent we, the better we you know we look it, it's nice to show us responsible stuff but we're always being shown as something like the reptile channel people that want to I want to keep a predator because it eats mice and I want to watch mice die wait a minute wait, wait. Clint, do you know who the reptile channel is I do know who the reptile channel is I, uh, mostly because you guys have, have brought them to my attention and you know that, that is the thing that is that will ruin this hobby like if oh. we, we could lose it because that is the perspective that people have on who we are, what it is to keep a snake. You know that that a snake is just this this killer animal that I control and I you know. Yeah, that, it's so cool, man. I, I don't keep care them. about anything. You, you, know, you're the, the, you walk around here, you meet nobody who's like. Right. You know, these are people that love their animals. They they enjoy one another. They they support each other. Like that's one of the things I've really enjoyed about just being here at Tinley. Like this has been you know my first exposure to like. The U.S. wide reptile community, how much you guys support each other and strengthen one another, and like the love that's there for the hobby, for the people, and especially for the people. Clint, do you know that Clint's the first person besides you, I think, to be a YouTuber to even say anything remotely kind of negative about the reptile? <laughs> Nobody will. The YouTubers won't touch us. I don't us. understand. That, like, it makes me crazy because I've been watching YouTube, uh, YouTube and Reptile channel for years, and I'm like, how is this going on? And now, as YouTube has been tightening down the terms of you know of use and whatever, and and they're like doing stuff that's a complete violation. I mean, I think they're literally they're uh, they're tricking people. That, but basically, all it is is just animal cruelty. Watching a predator eat hapless victims and dying in a horrible way and they're trying to say it's educational but my point was to somebody who knows nothing and they find the reptile channel and they find this as reptile keepers and this is what reptile keepers do and they're actually making fun of these animals before they die or as they're dying I find that I don't I can't even put it into words that where I behave myself because it makes me crazy no, it, it's so unkind oh it, it's it's horrific you know and, and the, the thing is like I know, you know, we feed, you know, a lot of these are, are carnivorous animals, yes. but, uh, you know, I feel like we as a community, we work so hard to be humane with those animals that every turn, even those that are feeders, you know, and, and that's that's a shocking thing because, you know, it, it is it is twisted, it is, there. that is such a twisted thing to do, especially to, you know, to take joy in the suffering of, of other people. We have to have uh, empathy. If I love snakes, it doesn't mean I don't, I don't love rodents or whatever. And it's like a, it's kind of like a hardship for me. And you know, I keep all these predators, so I try to uh, be appreciative of them. That's why I, no live feed videos. I'm, I'm very against it because it shines us in a terrible light. And there's no, I don't think you should get any kind of. Uh, Joy. We know it's happening, and I don't want to hear it's nature and all this different stuff because we're, we are keeping animals in captivity. So we can sit here and try to argue, well, it's natural and all this stuff. Okay, it's fine. You don't need to 
put it in a uh, context where it's on some social media platform where people are then like, yeah, look at its eyes, you know, bulging out or it's all these different kinds of things. Well, I can't watch that stuff. And, 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 and as bad as that would be if you had people on the side cheering. Click, is there anything you want to say to this man? Oh, hey, I just, I really appreciate what you're doing. For this awesome. Time. You know, it's been a pleasure to meet you. All right. Well, I'm excited to get Matt, to Now you have to get us to me. Get me introduce me to Emily. Oh, no, yeah, let's do it. I, that's, that's like the, she's like the only other one that I, 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 I've watched. That's the only like one he respects. Rep- that's what he wants to say. He respects. Yeah, you watch and it's like, ah, oh, Emily, Emily's got good, good info and it's I completely nice. agree. I mean, we started doing collaborations with Emily a long time Yo, ago. Yo, you guys should come this way. We found her in her channel was really small, but it was obviously excellent. You know, and there weren't that many like that. And so we reached out to her when, when she was tiny, tiny and... You know, since then she's become enormous, and it has come as no surprise to me. To end. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I my car. Feel a traffic quince yeah. making. Yes, indeed. Do you know him? You know? Did you meet oh, him? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, you're Eric. Yeah, how are you? The, the how are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh how my god, you? you work with Brian Barton. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh. That is me. Oh, yeah, how oh, are you? You, you want a picture or something? Here's a post for a picture. Oh my god. Hey, you know what, though? Thanks. I feel like more people awesome. know who Eric is than you. So, That's probably true. Cool. Did you see me fanboy? Yeah. I've reeled it in. Now I've controlled myself. Yeah. <laughs> he, gets, he gets to play with. Why don't we stand in front of our booth, homie? <laughs> he, gets, <laughs> he gets to play with Cowrie Ticks and Derek Condes and Ryan yep. Ogle. Yep, yep. Yep. That's amazing. Monitors. We're, that, we're really big like? monitor. It's, it's a lot like of fun. It's a blast, Elvis. You know? Elvis, love him. Came from some guy. I'm not too okay. sure. But we take good care. Love him a lot. So I'm sure you'll get there one day. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Thank you. What? No, what? <laughs> I have to click. Kevin, why, why are you not going to go see Brian Barczyk? I'm a little confused. I thought you guys were friends. Guy. I thought you guys were cool. Yeah. 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 I'm going back with you guys. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, I have to go over and see. I want to see Brian's. I'm gonna to go to Brian's zoo and I'm gonna. You know what? Try to take it in, like how, like all the the, the fake rock and all like the enclosures and all stuff like that. I really. <laughs> so when I go there, I need to like spend some time, kind of like absorbing. Yeah, yeah. I've never to this day gotten any of the rubber rock samples. So I just see them and I'm like, I'm gleaning through your videos. Like, how are they doing that? So you take the cage and you put that in there and bing, bang, boom. These cages came just like that. So I think they preformed them or maybe sprayed the stuff in there. It's like, they say it's like truck bed liner. So I don't know if yeah, they... Yeah, it's made the same, yeah. the same rubber. I don't know if they make the pieces you know, and then it, put it, them in the it cages. It is. It's one thing to see it on thing, but I've never actually got to touch no, it. No, it is cool. You, you do for sure have to go in there and check it out. It's, it's really nice. It's easy to clean. You wash it down and it's good well, to go. Well, Jeremy's so. going to go and check it out. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, you have the less important people coming. Can you hold the corn snake? (laughs) I'll let him hold the corn snake. We got a couple, I'll let him hold. You know, nothing too crazy. It'd be my first time. Maybe if you're lucky, you get to hold the pagoda bittersips. Oh my god. There you go. Yeah. (laughs) That's uh, Latin for uh, earwig. For earwig. We have (laughs) this here. Yeah, do you? We all have earwigs, folks. It's in our Cypress Mulch. I'm actually. (laughs) It's not just for breakfast. I'll flip a pallet over, and there's about 10 of them. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Good for your bioactive. Uh, well, actually, I really do like all that bioactive oh. stuff. That's right. actually so really cool. All the bioactive, uh, bioactive, can't speak. Uh, terrarium <laughs> stuff and all the other cool little things that help break things down. That is, I mean, it's funny because the whole developing interest so we can keep like a cool animal in the terrarium and then we can have all this other stuff. Yeah. It's replicating more you know, naturalistic things, but kind of cool it's like little micro fish tanks it is it is you know you don't have to clean them as much because they eat all the little poop up and you're good to go yeah so that's what i say okay all right cool you guys look really socially awkward together i, I know i'm sorry i'm just this is the man right here i just you know yeah Oh, I read his book. Kevin's not even a pre- <laughs> <laughs> You didn't read his book? No. I mean, who would, right? I mean, He's never read your book. Yeah, I read, I read, I read, I read little coloring books for, like, children. Like, at the pretty thing, Crawl. Yeah. Spell Crawl. K-R-O-L-W. Did, did you see I got this guy to be Clint's reptiles? They're bromancing now? It's weird. No it's, way. Yeah. Really crazy. Clint's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, big deal. But, the, but I mean... I, I didn't get to meet him, though. Yeah. Oh. So. Uh, dude. Oh, wow. You don't even understand. 
just you haven't lived until you get to meet him. I know, I know it. <laughs> I can't tell if you're kidding does, right now. Does he not look like himself in person? Exactly like been, him. Exactly. He looks exactly okay, like him. Okay, then it wasn't him. I seen someone who kind of looked like him, and I'm like, no, that's not he him. He looks like a school teacher. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. It's him. Perfect. I picked a bad spot. Yeah, like, we're not that cool, guys. We're not like, no, we're not Brian Barczyk. We can't. We yeah, can't just now, think now like, that I'm standing with you guys, not a lot of people are ready? coming up or anything. Hey, everyone, it's a great day. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. Today's the greatest day ever. Subscribe, like, hit the like button, do all that stupid stuff, and I follow us on Instagram. Oh yeah, there you go. I, That's it. You're out. I think I. I <laughs> he's like that all the time. Though. That's why I love Brian. He's just that. He's yeah, full yeah. of it. And he yeah. doesn't even drink or do any drugs. What's wrong with him? You know? Uh, that's what I said. I don't know. Kevin's the same energy, but negative. Oh, negative. there you go. <laughs> yes. I'm definitely the same energy, but negative. I love that. Negative. I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. What do you want? <laughs> Today's terrible. Oh. Go away. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, actually. Do you, do, do, actually... You know, do you know who this guy Jeremy is? Do you know this guy? Yeah. So, see yeah. him on the TV. You saw him on the TV once? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put him on a thumbnail, and the video's getting no views. Oh, yeah. man. Crazy oh. eyes. All right, that's cool. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. A little off subject. Sorry. That's cool. All right, cool. All right, kids that crying because you now. You, Look what you did. Oh. I don't want to meet Jeremy. You're scaring the kids. Scare the kids. <laughs> Try looking like you want to be in the photo, Kevin. <laughs> Any minute now, he'll get it. He'll get it. Oh. How come you don't have one of those? Because there's probably only one made. <laughs> he probably does have one. No. Uh, no, no worries. Come on, Kevin, what are all the jeans in that? So now I've Super got a orange stream, <laughs> leopard, hide, yellow belly. Yep. So you ready to release that cage, that, that, that display design? <laughs> I love your displays, man. <laughs> You're a real cunt, man. <laughs> Say it again? You're not okay. That was awesome. That was awesome. That's all right. Do you guys know the story about that? No, tell me more. So he, he designed those displays over there. They're cool as yeah. shit. Yeah. But he won't let animal plastics like make them and sell them to anybody else. Oh! <laughs> so I said, designed them. I made them. That was. I even made the prototypes and everything. Hey, we could put design by but, Kevin. Yeah. 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 Design by yeah. nerd. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, he would love that. Yeah. It's, Kevin, I, you brat. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I have to take my you ingenuity. Could just, you could just these are these are cool, but they're a pain in the ass to put together. Those you could just pack the animals. Just, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so funny. He just did that. Oh my god, he outed you. That was awesome. <laughs> Give me permission. I'll pay for it. Sell the rights. I think it's washed out in these displays. Do you it? smell it? Yeah, I smell it. Does that tell you things? Dude. No, I can't. You ever that, open it up? Uh, somebody here is peed. And I'm just wondering. <laughs> so, that's probably my hand. No. Kevin McCurley, everybody. Sniffing, <laughs> sniffing my balls. <laughs> so guys, I was waiting for it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> touch him? You touch me if you want. You want to hold the tail for me? I don't know if I can hold it anymore. You look pretty strong, buddy. You got it? Oh, you got it. Look at that. Is he heavy? Is he really heavy? Yeah. That's pretty. I don't know. I can't even do that. Oh, you are. Oh, that's stronger than me. Big things, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you are. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb, how old are you? Five. You're five? You have snakes? Yeah. You want to name him? You want to name him? Give him his own name? No? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice meeting you, Caleb. Very nice meeting you. Have a nice day. Who's this? Who's this little girl? This is Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Do you watch YouTube? All the time. All the time? You got any snakes at home? Grandpa does. I'm guessing you have snakes. Grandpa, Grandpa works in, in your face over there. Yeah? So we were there holding all the snakes. And so now she's upset. She watches ah. Brian. Brian. What's yeah, Brian Barczyk? Yeah, she watches him regularly. Dude, she's always watching... Uh, She's always watching snake videos. She knows all about winter and shed. Winter yeah. Wow. That's Every night before bed. Oh that's man. A, that's a lot more. Good luck in this industry. <laughs> that's that is very impressive. Crispy's got the worst job. I love my job. Yeah. Oh. Hey, it's not bad. Oh, what are you doing? Making sure they have water? Uh, yeah. So. Uh, if we get real close to your face, you have no room to work. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we'll get right in here. Hey. Nice. Taking out the monitors and soaking them in water because yeah. they've been sitting in the enclosure for a couple of hours without water, so they started getting dehydrated. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so now I'm just putting everything back into the display. I heard, you, I heard Kevin sold the black dragon today. 
I saw the Black Dragon today. They just wanted to talk to Kevin about something. They were really interested in the Black Dragon, and what happened? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, uh, Grant's here. More Grant in the videos. Cool jacket. Is that Kurt Cobain on that shirt? It's Burke. Oh, you mean the girl? You, who was that? Said of Gianni was there? Gianni was like, why does you have a shirt with a girl on it? I'm like, it's <laughs> Kurt Cobain with Gucci Mane tattoos. What are you doing? Cool. I'm Mike. Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Donnie. Hi. Mike. Hi, Mike. Nice How are you too. doing? What station or what YouTube channel? Uh, New England Reptile. Oh, yes. You guys are Famous. <laughs> Woo, we're famous. Yeah. You hear that? You, want, you mind if we talk about your excellent product in our video? Yeah, go for it. I'm sure you didn't have a problem. I've done with other videos too, so it's fine. So it's just a new style terrarium that I came up with, got a patent on it. Uh, basically, it opens all the way around. You can. Uh, You're fine. You can remove the front to actually clean it. The whole thing comes out. Oh, wow. This looks expensive. This it, one's 300 bucks. Oh, all right. Not that bad. I didn't think it would be that. All right. And cool, then, man. Uh, they ship flat, which is kind of the main thing. So it all is held together with either two or four to six bolts. Comes apart, ship flat. Uh, the whole thing, like I said, they all open just like that. That's really Dude, that's cool. awesome. So they're more of a display style. Yeah, yeah. You know, for your front office or living room. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Cool, man. Look at that. You just get a free plug in a video. Look at that. <laughs> Sweet, man. Nobody likes you a nerd. You guys obviously were there longer. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't touch this random guy. What are you doing? No, this, this, is, this is Adam Harris. Adam Harris is documented as being the shittiest employee of JPC Bowman. Oh, yes. I will take that. I will take that, yes. What would you do over there? Nothing. Nothing. That's, no, he that's, just wore the yeah, shirt. Yeah, like, not, literally just came here. That's free ride. Okay. Three plays. Oh God, that's Grant. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> cool guy. Cool guy, Grant. Yep. Cool guy, Grant, with his one beard braid. Oh, thing. get out of here! You're not yeah. special. What are you doing? Yeah, get out of here, Christy. You're not YouTube oh, material. Stop. <laughs> All right. It's superstar Grant. What's up? Your, your boy just came and got me. Perfect. Yeah. I need the best. He's really shy. He won't come over here unless you call him. Kevin, get over here. Come on, Kevin. All right, so I'm trading this introduction for this calorie ticket. I love this thing. I've been tending on it for a while. Hey, Kevin. Hi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I've been telling Emily and I've got a few days. Oh. And we've been hanging out with this incredible... You're probably one of the only other people I've watched their videos on. So, like, obviously you get lost in the sea or whatever, but I watch it. You're too dangerous. And I, yeah, I, I watch I watch some of your videos. And like, yeah, like, I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm working on one of shed videos and all that kind of stuff like that. And I, I liked it. It was just, you know, got that sense. I'll have nowhere near a collection like you have, ever, but, but I mad props for everything that you've done. Save yourself from having no. that, that kind of stuff. I mean, no, really. <laughs> like, retakes like this is incredible. <laughs> I'd never really seen one in person before until yours, honestly. So, someday. I got a lot of you guys. You make her dream yeah. come true. Oh, cool. These have beefy heads, don't they? Yes, they have huge, like, all that muscle. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. They have just squat faces, too. I'm so used to retix it with that longer face. You got that big, big, meaty head. It's almost like you see some like the carpet in here, kind of like yeah. the, the, back, the back of the head yeah. or muscle. Are they usually this handful? Um, so what I did is just since they're babies, I just kind of mess with them. So yeah. every one of them are like rock solid. You know, like anybody handle them. Oh. They don't. Um, they never eat live any live prey. It's always like the frost on these guys. Okay. So it's just this. It's not even coiling or anything. So, slow so moving here and while they're just, just everything. So that way, you, you can basically, it's very tractable. Even these guys, and a lot of these things too, when they're not in total mode, they're very, very tractable. Oh, you do a great job socializing them. That's, so you breed these too? Look at the head. Uh, we're in the process of getting all that made. This is one of the hardest snakes, basically. I've had this pump to breed. They're, uh, they're very hard to figure out. They do like to eat each other. Oh, and, okay, that's great. That's, that's got to, that's, adds an extra level of difficult, you know, to, uh, difficulty it, to breeding it them. It does, and it's like, uh, even I breed like mangrove snakes, and I've learned uh, 
I've had a couple of casualties with a female. It's like, today is your day to die for the male. Oh, <laughs> no, that's an expensive meal. Eats the male or does, like, bites the male and mauls it and stuff like that. I breed, like, these uh, wow. weird mangrove snakes. They do some weird things. These guys, I've had this guy ever a female right. consume the male. <laughs> we decided to just huh? blow too long and then spit them out. Oh, what a waste, because then she doesn't even get to eat it. Yeah, that's devastating. Yeah, that's yeah, terrible. So I know king cobras, or I've heard king cobras doing that yeah. before. Um, I haven't seen that yet with my king. I have king cobras okay. and stuff like that. I got a really cool king cobra in the future. You'll uh, they're so interesting. Nice. But uh, that's in the future. I'll show. Oh, he's, but, um, he's just sitting here. Yeah, that animal will go to sleep on you. Did there. you tell Clint about that? What? Did you tell Clint about the king cobra? I didn't know about the king. Yeah, dude. What I the king cobras and stuff? They're, no, you just uh, subtly. King cobras are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, really, they're really, they're really yeah. remarkable because uh, they're like some of the genius snakes that we have. They're so on point. They just. Like monitors, yeah. or specifically water monitors, and rock monitors, and lake monitors, and like that. But they have like a level of awareness that is yep, I've noticed pretty, that too. pretty unbelievable. And, and cobras are really reactive, and some cobras are busy doing all this reaction time, so you don't get to really appreciate how intelligent they are because they're constantly trying to scare you off and do all that. But King Cobra will kind of like just settle right there, and just like the King Cobra will do the exact same thing. Just just, yeah, whatever. Uh, they don't, once they realize that you're okay, actually, once you've socialized, they don't put up anymore. Really? They, they won't do it. You, if you let them out, and if they see each other, or if they smell something, and they get spooked, you might get a little bit of a reaction, but they'll just behave in this tractable way. So you have to, if you want to have a king cobra that's constantly doing like your your video moments where you're getting that dramatic stuff, you're always going to have to have an animal that doesn't really trust you or like you. And so it's going to always be reactive and whatever. Even the babies, they'll, if you enter something into the cage, like a food item or something like that, they might, and then they go back to But they're really smart. And they're big enough. They're, they're, they're uh, pretty incredible animals. That, that that one kind of like sucks me in. I mean, a lot of snakes are looking at me. The beauty of that snake is, is breathtaking. But there's a uniqueness to the uh, mindset of these animals. That's one reason why I'm so keen on retics. It's like smart they are. Like yes. Once, once you've um, basically convinced yes, them that you're just went up with thing, rats, right? So yeah. like, um, it's a great thing. You have a big constrictor that's remarked to What's your favorite species to breed? I don't think I have one. I, 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 I have, I have great, I, I don't, I, you just go, all of a sudden you go, look, it's a Tokay Gecko. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a Tokay Gecko. And I'm going to go off on that. It's, I'm going to do that with a lot of different things. So, I don't even have a favorite snake, but I will say one of my favorite creations I've ever made are the cowrie tits. One of my favorite creatures. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I can make 20 of them and raise 20 of them and I'm like, yeah, I think I have to have all 20 of them because they're so, they're so nice and I don't think you can do a lot. And no two are alike either. And uh, this one right here, this will probably be one of the ones, it's like, a, it's a challenge because understanding how they behave and there's a whole, there's, what they require to actually breed and get them into a reproductive uh, state. You can get them to breed, but actually get them to ovulate, get them to recognize the hormones to release and trigger ovulation and all this stuff. That is like the key. And so there's some tricks. So this right now happens to be holding my focus. Great. This, do you like the next new challenge? Oh, I'm so... You give me something, you tell me I can't do it, and I'm going to try to figure it out. I that's, like it. That's what I like to do. So I like it. I just, you know... <laughs> Because wow. we appreciate all this stuff, like stuff like but I feel pretty good that I understand like some of the basic psychology and the basic whatever. But I'm always learning about the, their intelligence. I always like you're not smarter than I thought you were or whatever. But this thing is, I love the disposition of the animal and how sweet. Like this animal right now, she's since she's been a baby, she's just been mean constantly in her face and just touching so you make it so there's yeah. nothing sacred so i'm very much into touching snakes faces and just desensitizing. I, I just do everything so that way even if it's a snapping turtle and i was talking about snapping turtle like the same way snapping turtles yeah. so i have this wonderful snapping turtle that's sweet and then yeah. maybe a dwarf came in it's a dwarf came in that is you can just pick it up like it's a bearded dragon but i want that and um so i just do this when they're young 
And that's usually because uh, I'm in the ambulance with them, so yeah. I'm just like, all right, I just want to go play with these snakes for a little while. And I just go and do that and just keep doing that and then I make sure my employees have that same kind of uh, uh, like respect for them or whatever. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's tough because a lot of people, I think the majority of snake people don't have like the kind of magic things that I, I'm kind of like into. So I watch people handling stuff and they're very, um, like there's no... Uh, back and forth with the animal. They're more like, look at this, and it's beautiful and awesome and stuff like that. But you, you sometimes will see the one person that has their pine snake on their shoulder and they're walking around, or their bull snake, and they do have that because they really like just love that animal. What it doesn't matter what it looks like or whatever. But a lot of a lot of reptile people just I don't, I don't see it. I don't see sure. what I'm talking about. Thank you for letting me hold you. This is like a dream come true. Bolin's python. I've seen them in zoos, but never had a one on like a counter like this.